Hey my foodies, I hope you're doing well. So I've just come back from the supermarket, got all my ingredients ready, got my gloves on, my mask on, so let's get started. So we're prepping the food now, getting them ready and then we will deliver them soon. So it's ready now, it's in the boot, we're gonna go to the hospital and deliver them. I'm so excited. seeing death on a monthly basis and seeing it on a daily basis holding the hands of 
those who are away from their loved ones. So it's something that as doctors we kind of take it for granted to be honest because we we're, we always see family around with the patients and we just let the family be there but we're now a family for our patients as well. So that's something that we have learned as doctors and um, it's a great opportunity for us to serve as well as doctors, serve people, the thing we love doing. And COVID has been bad, but he has brought the best, best in us and best out of the public as well. And like yourself, the way you have donated the food, it just shows the gratitude and kindness you have. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Obviously, we can we can only see the news and we just see the update about how many people have died, but you guys are close to those people and you're with them. So I can't even put it in words or imagine how hard your job is. So thank you. <laughs> thank I, you I so think, much. Um, I think message probably to, um, you know, the Kurdish community, friends and family out there is that um, it's very difficult when your loved ones haven't been affected or when you haven't been affected directly to appreciate the scale and the magnitude or the seriousness of the problem. Um, but you know, if you look at the security coming into the hospital, but how the whole, our, literally our whole way of, I mean, in society our whole way of life has changed, but the whole way that we work in hospital has, has changed in the last year, beyond recognition from, you know, in, in any time of our career. Um, I would say, um, if you've got doubts about the vaccine, um, you know, there's lots of, try and look for reliable sources. I think most, most if not all of us have had the vaccine. Um, because, you know, I had COVID back in April, some of us have had, and we're all young and fit and well, and we were struck down quite bad by it. We know friends and family, I'm, I'm a local doctor, I know friends and family who are in hospital, in this hospital and at King George's with COVID, um, who've passed away with COVID. And it's frightening when you see your own friends and loved ones in that position and you're helpless. So all I'd say is just be careful as you can, because it is difficult. Um, uh, in this sort of circumstance to really appreciate the gravity of what's going on um, but if you have the chance to get the vaccine definitely go ahead and do that as well mm. thank you i feel really uh overwhelmed with all the messages that obviously they've talked about uh, it is something serious that's happening very happy that i could contribute even with a little bit uh, of you know uh, food that i could give them and provide them so, yeah.